are going to look at some special verbs. We call them phrasal verbs, and native speakers use them a lot when speaking. Phrasal verbs. All right, please look at your computer and follow these examples. Switch on. Switch off. Turn up. Turn down. Hand in. Hand out. Give up. Turn over. Hang up. Get up. All right, notice that we use prepositions with these verbs. Phrasal verbs are special because you can't usually find them in a dictionary. And they can sometimes change their meaning when we use them in different sentences or when we talk about different situations. So look at these examples and you will understand what I mean. First example, hang up your coat. Hang up your coat means put it in your closet or put it on the coat stand. But you can also say hang up the phone. All right, hang up the phone can mean finish your phone call and put the phone back on the receiver. Okay, like normal verbs, we use phrasal verbs with different tenses by changing the verb part. For example, he is hanging up his coat. He is hanging up his coat. Past tense, I hung up the phone when I finished my call. So in this first example, he is hanging up his coat, we can use present continuous by changing only the verb. We don't change the preposition. In the same way, we can switch to past tense and say, I hung up the phone when I finished my call. Okay, let's look at some examples of sentences with phrasal verbs so that you can see how we use them. First example, switch on the light. It's very dark in here. Okay, switch on the light. It's very dark in here. Second example, when you go to bed, don't forget to switch off the light. So when you go to bed, don't forget to switch off the light. Turn up the TV, please. I can't hear it. Okay? Turn up the TV, please. I can't hear it. Turn down the music. It's loud. Turn down the music. It's loud. The teacher handed out some books to the students. The teacher handed out some books to the students. Hand in your homework to the teacher when you finish it. Hand in your homework to the teacher when you finish it. So now we're going to look at some more examples of phrasal verbs because they are very important. You must be careful how you use the phrasal verbs because they can change their meaning if we're talking about different objects. Okay, switch on the light. It's very dark in here. When you go to bed, don't forget to switch off the light. Turn up the TV, please. I can't hear it. Turn down the music. It's loud. The teacher handed out some books to the students. Hand in your homework to the teacher when you finish it. My friend said he will buy me a present if I give up smoking. 
Turn over the page to see the answer on the other side. What time do you usually get up in the morning? Okay, now see if you can guess what the phrasal verb means in each sentence. Sylvia, let's look at the first sentence and you tell me what you think it means. Switch on the light. It's very dark in here. I think switch on means turn the switch so that the light will start. Very good. Yes, we use switch on to talk about starting machines or things that use electricity. We can also say turn on. It means the same as switch on the light. Okay, Anna, what do you think this sentence means? When you go to bed, don't forget to switch off the light. I think that it means the opposite of switch on. So uh, it means turn the light so that the light will stop. Yes, yeah, switch off means the opposite of switch on. And we can also say turn off the light. All right, now Alberto, you try this sentence. What does it mean? Turn up the TV, please. I can't hear it. I think turn up means increase or make more because the person speaking wants uh, more noise, so he can't hear it. That's right. Turn up means increase something, but we only use it for machines. I can't say turn up your voice when I want to hear you speak louder, but I can say turn up the TV or turn up the radio. Okay, Sylvia, you can try the next one. Turn down the music, it's loud. I guess that turn down is the opposite of turn up. I think it means decrease or make something less because the speaker wants less noise. Yes, turn down means the opposite of turn up. Okay, Anna, the next sentence for you. What does it mean the teacher handed out some books to the students? I think that handout means to give to people because we are talking about teacher giving some books to the students. Yes, that's right. Handout means one person giving something out to a group of people. Okay, Alberto, you can try the next one. Hand in your homework to the teacher when you finish it. I think hand, uh, hand in must mean the opposite of handout. If handout means uh, one person giving something to each person in a group, then hand in means uh, each person in a group is giving something to one person. All right, very good, Alberto. Hand in is the opposite of handout. Sylvia, do you want to try another sentence? Look at this one and tell me what it means. My friend said he will buy me a present if I give up smoking. Okay, well, smoking is a bad thing to do and the friend says he will buy me a present if I give up smoking. So it means, uh, give up means, must means, sorry, I'm confused a little bit. Uh, You're doing very well. Keep going. I think give up means to stop doing something. Yes, that's very good detective work, Sylvia. Give up means to stop doing something, usually forever. It has the same meaning as quit. All right, Anna, look at this sentence and tell me about it. Turn over the page to see the answer on the other side. Okay, I think this one means change pages so that you can see the other uh, side of pages, like when you read book. Yes, very good. So turn over means to look at the other side of the page. Very good. All right, Alberto, the next one is for you. What time do you usually get up in the morning? What does that mean? Get up means here, uh, wake up and uh, leave the bed. <laughs>